Hello and welcome to another video by Adrian David from Pure Electric. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about insulation resistance, okay? And more importantly, resistors in parallel, okay? We're all told how to calculate resistances in parallel at college, but I've never been told what that actually means in the real world. And I don't know anybody else personally who's also been told that because I see lots of electricians doing insulation resistance and not actually working out resistors in parallel to work out the insulation resistance for the whole installation. So for instance, if you look at uh, regulation 643.3.2, it says here, the installation resistance measured with the test voltages indicated in table 64 shall be considered satisfactory if the main switchboard and each distribution circuit tested separately with all of its final circuits connected, but with current using accessories and equipment disconnected has an insulation resistance not less than the appropriate value in table 64. And obviously that value is one mega ohm. Now what that's actually saying, if you read it carefully, it's actually saying that the whole installation should have a minimum insulation resistance for one mega ohm on an existing um, installation. Now they've changed that slightly for an initial um, verification now. They've made it 20 meg ohms for a new installation um, should be looked at if it's anything less than that. And I, I, I completely agree with that because obviously a new installation should be absolutely mint. I mean, obviously these are virgin cables. They've never had electricity run through them. They should be perfect, okay? So makes perfect sense. Now let's talk about that one meg ohm for, for an, uh, a moment. Here I've just put a quick chart, okay, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. We're going to be measuring in meg ohms, obviously that's millions of ohms. So one meg ohm is one million ohms. Don't get confused about that, I did once. So in this circuit designations, I've got down sockets, upstairs sockets, kitchen sockets, boiler, upstairs lights, downstairs lights. So there's six circuits there. It's a pretty standard basic house, okay, maybe a two up, two down something along those lines anyway. And then what I've done is I've just made up some uh, manufactured results between live and neutral for insulation resistance. On five of the circuits, I've got greater than 299, so we're absolutely good to go. And on one circuit, I've got one mega. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that's a pass or a fail? Okay, because one mega, I could say that that is a pass for that circuit, but according to BS7671, it's for the whole installation. And the only way to work that out is to do resistors in parallel. How do we work out resistors in parallel? Well, if you think back to college, we have to do fractions, okay? So you can either write, type out the fractions in your calculator, and then that will give you 299 divided by 304. And then if you make that into a um, decimal point, it will come out at 0.98 mega. So we're actually below one mega for the whole installation. If you've got a scientific calculator, you could also put in 299 to the reciprocal of 1, do that five times, and then plus 1 to the reciprocal of 1, and then that still comes out at 0.98 mega ohms. So what I want you guys to now think about while you're out there is resistors in parallel when you're doing insulation resistance. And the only way to work that out is to work it out exactly as I've shown you here, and then you'll get your figure at the end that will tell you the insulation resistance for that whole installation. And if it's lower than one mega ohm, then that installation should fail, okay? At which point you, you look in further and then you try to get the problem with this circuit back up and then, hey presto, this changes, okay? So just a quick video for today. I mean, it's only four minutes long, which is a lot better than most of my videos, which have been over an hour. Um, so I hope that's of some help to all you guys out there. I mean, I didn't know about it, okay? I've only recently found this out. So I thought I would share it with you and help you guys use it out in the real world, okay? So I hope this video has been some help. You take care. Speak soon.